So I need to ask you all to do me a favor. If you consider yourself an ally, please stand up. Please. Thank you. You may seat. You may be seated. So you see what you just did. You took action. Being an ally is taking action. Oftentimes, we as allies, we take a more passive approach. We say things like, I just love everybody the same and treat everyone the same. I know I'm guilty of that as well. But the fact of the matter is, the world doesn't treat certain people the same. So it's our duty to take action and make sure that we shape our surroundings to, to better accommodate all people. So in taking action, when we speak of dentistry, where do we start? Well, let's start where all dental appointments start, at the reception desk. So a patient comes in, a new patient, and your reception area can easily say, hello, you must be our new patient. How would you like for us to refer to you? Simple, across the board. No questions, you know, you get the information that you need. Some people may be named Margaret and want to be referred to as Peggy. Someone may be named Carlos and want to be called the captain of the universe, not referring to anybody specific. But I personally don't care how someone wants to be referred to. As long, when, as, long as when I go to the reception area to get my patient, they don't suddenly decide they need to use the bathroom. So that's the first step. Then you get your patient back into the op. You start going over their medical history. You may find some medications that uh, may be associated with transitioning. You may, in this community, find some antidepressants. There's a high prevalence of, of depression within the LGBTQ plus community, and also a high prevalence of suicidal thoughts and attempts. So it would be so comforting if you already had a pre-made list of different medications, not solely associated with uh, transitioning, but some antidepressants, and you have the oral effects that may be associated with those medications. So you can simply hand that patient a handout that says, and, and just, just simply say, I noticed you're taking one or more of these medications. I just wanted to make you aware of the possible oral side effects that may be associated with that medication. Simple as that. Another thing that we can do and also be mindful of with the high prevalence of suicidal thoughts within this community is we can have our appointment cards made with the back side of it having uh, that the National Suicide Prevention Hotline phone number uh, available for all patients. It's a very rough time in our country and we wanna be as supportive as we possibly can. So all of these steps that we take to make our patients feel more comfortable are very, very important. More important than we probably put, you know, as, as value to ourselves. We're, we're more than teeth cleaners. We're more than tooth fillers. Um, we can actually change someone's life. You know, a lot of times this community not only is the world not accepting of them, but sometimes it's their own home. Uh, teens and young adults, the youth of this community, uh, they seriously contemplate suicide at a 40% rate. So you may be providing a space for a person who is at a point in their life where they're, find, they're trying to find their place in the world. And they're also wondering, 
if the world has a place for them. So it's all majorly important. So when patients come in, we need to review our forms that we provide for them to fill out. A lot of times we are asking patients to check a box as far as a gender box that they don't feel as though they necessarily fit in. We need other options for genders, and not only on our paperwork, but also in our software. So at the end of this segment, I want us all to take action. I want us all on the phone. I want us calling Dentrix, EagleSoft, Softent, and asking for more options when it comes to genders, okay? It's ridiculous that we're still requiring you're just one or the other. We know that there's variations within this world. Physical, hormonal, it's time for us to expand our thinking and expand the world for the people who live within it. It's our job, okay? And we need to protect this community actively. So I'm asking you to take action and prepare this world for our friends, our family, and our loved ones so they can feel more welcome within it.